Hello everyone, um, welcome to Cardiff University. My name is Martina Nathan. I am the admissions tutor for children's nursing here in the School of Healthcare Sciences. So our current nursing uh, programme, as you know, um, revalidation has gone ahead this year. Um, so we have um, a validated children's nursing program commencing now in September 2020. As you know, the Bachelor of Nursing here in Cardiff University, we have three fields with children's nursing, adult nursing and mental health nursing. The key features, we, the program length is three years. It is a full time course. And we still, within the current uh, the program for September 20, there are some areas of blended approach to learning because you have to achieve generic and field competencies. Um, and it's very important to learn with other fields so that you have some essential skills in the other fields of nursing. It's a 50% theory, 50% practice program. Um, the 50% theory relates to lectures and tutorials. Um, we've also got innovative use of latest technology now, augmented reality. We've got workshop simulations and assessments, which consist of essays, exams, presentations and portfolio. The 50% practice placement will be um, supported by practice supervisors and assessors out in practice. Um, placement will consist of placements in hospitals, in the community and in the home environment. But you will have throughout all that support from the university by link lectures and by personal tutors and um, by other members of staff. Here we are, a little bit more about support. You'll have your personal tutor for pastoral support. You've got your academic assessor for professional development. You'll have action learning groups where you've got small field specific groups where you get together with your peers to discuss. Um, practice in practice, you've got your practice supervisor, your assessor and your link lecture. Um, student support is on site. And then you've also got support from um, a buddy or a mentor, um, and that would be maybe a second or third year um, um, student. Application um, is through UCAS. Um, the deadline will be the 15th of January 2021. Interviews are usually held um, in February 2021, usually about the first week in February 2021. And we usually have one uh, interview date on December 20, and then possibly one in March 2021. What I would say is keep an eye on the website for those specific dates. At present, um, our qualifications we accept um, are numerous. And these are just a sample of some of the um, more common um, academic qualifications we accept. A levels usually typical offers BBB plus five GCSEs at grade C or above, which must include English, maths or science. Um, and if you have completed already um, a degree or a previous qualification, we may ask for updated study. Um, if you're repeating a GCSE, that result needs to be in before the A-level result week. Um, for access, we usually accept access with a pass with a minimum of 27 distinctions, 18 merits. And we, have, we accept BTEC qualifications. The extended diploma is quite common. Distinction, distinction merit is what we accept there. But be specific in your application because, as you know, there are numerous BTECs out there now. So we need to make sure we've got as much information as we can. As I said to you, if you have undertaken your A-levels already or you've done a degree, we, if it's five years or older, um, we usually ask for updated study. The important thing also to note is that you cannot apply for another field of nursing or healthcare programme in Cardiff University if you're applying for children's nursing. So this is just essential entry requirements. You do have to complete a DBS check. Um, you also have to complete an occupational health questionnaire before you enrol on the programme. And you will have to under 
undertake subsequent appointments and receive all the necessary vaccinations to undertake clinical placements safely. This is a very important slide. We we mark every single personal statement objectively. And these are the areas that we usually um, look at. So you need to take note of this slide, as I say. You need to state clearly, why are you applying for children's nursing? What is your motivation to take on that program? You have to show that you've got insight into children's nursing profession. No point of applying and you don't really know what you're applying for. You need to show insight into the nature and the demands of the programme. So as I've said, it's 50% theory, 50% practice. You will have to work different shift patterns while you're on placement. Um, you will have to sometimes be doing assignments whilst you're out on practice. So you need to show that you're, you, are, you are appreciative of those demands. You need to show transferable skills and attributes. So many of you may be asking me, what work experience do I need? You can undertake lots of work experience and it does not have to be particularly with children or in a hospital setting, but you need to be able to show that whatever work experience you've undertaken, that you've achieved transferable skills, for example, like communication or team working, and you can transfer these skills into children's nursing. Another very important factor is insight into the demands and the nature of caring. As you know, children's nursing is a caring profession. So we need to show, see that you're compassionate, that you're empathetic, that you respect dig dignity. You also have to show respect, you know, if you've done any work experience and you can relate to that. But you need to show that um, your caring nature. So there is opportunity for you to have a placement abroad. And here's just some areas where some of our students have previously uh, traveled to for that placement abroad. So just a little bit going on to about children's nursing, therefore, um, because that is quite broad what I've spoken already about. But so what is what is uh, uh, children's nursing? What does a children's nurse do? So we care for children and young people. So usually that's from zero, where the midwife hands over that baby, um, and you may come across um, ch our babies that were born early in, in neonatal units, right up to the age of 18 years of age. We have a placement in uh, Cardiff, which is the Teenage Cancer Trust unit, and there, you care for uh, young people up to the age of 24. So those kind of age groups can be blurred in some areas, but that's usually the age group you care for. We don't just care for children and young people. We care for their families, and those families are very individual to those children and young people. So it could be parents, it could be grandparents, it could be siblings. Um, it's a family in that individual's life. And we care holistically. We don't just care if a child comes in with a broken leg. We don't just care for the leg. We care for the whole child and their family. We work with families. Um, we, we care in a family-centered care uh, approach. And that is partnership and care with the family. Decision making is undertaken with the family and the child. Um, and that's true negotiation. Um, and that is very much, um, you know, dealt with the family, with the child um, to make sure that we individualize that care as, as much as we can. We also work in a team. You will always see nurses working in teams. Even the health uh, visitor, um, she will, he or she will communicate with other interprofessional teams. So it's always about team working, liaison with teams, and we work with young people um, to promote autonomy. And many of you will be in that category yourself. So you wouldn't want to go to hospital and, and that autonomy to be taken away. So we have to promote that autonomy, promote self-care. We also prepare young people with chronic illness for transition to adult services. Um, so that could be um, a young person with asthma, a young person with cystic fibrosis or with cancer. So they, we have to prepare them to transition to adult services. 
it's not all about um, unwell children and unwell young people it's also about health and health promotion so you will see on placements child surveillance so that's monitoring progress and development so are these um, toddlers meeting their milestones is that baby meeting the milestone and as you know there are rising rates of obesity in children and young people at the moment so we are concerned with that um, and and promoting that health uh, in the acute setting as well as in the community setting we work as part of a wide multidisciplinary team um, and that's a medical team um, it could be teachers um, if you're a school nurse um, we work with physiotherapists with pharmacists social workers to name but a few there are many roles that you can undertake uh, within a hospital or community setting. So you qualify, you become a staff nurse, you may want to become a ward manager or then a community children's nurse, or you may want to go to a specialist role as I did. I worked in children's cancer and I went into a specialist uh, role within children's cancer. Um, you could become a, a consultant nurse or a health visitor or you can again become like myself who went into education afterwards or you might want to go to research. So there are lots of opportunities out there. And as you know, there are lots of opportunities to work uh, and work abroad or to travel outside of, of Wales. So um, I appreciate that you may have to work for two years afterwards if you've taken the bursary here within Wales, but after that you may want to work in Great Ormond Street or you may want to work um, go home if you're, if you're from uh, Scotland or England. Um, but also there are lots of opportunities overseas. So I myself, I've worked in Ireland, I've worked in Singapore, uh, and I'm here, of course, in Wales. So there's lots of opportunities there as well. So just to appreciate there are um, challenges and um, for you to realise the expectations when you are out there in placement uh, and your role as a student, uh, children's student. So you will have to, as I say, take make sure you've got your live vaccines before you start placement. You will come across lots of diverse experience and situations. You will see healthy children versus very unwell children and young people. You will come across very busy wards, very busy environments. Um, you will at times be on placement and you may at that time have an assignment due in. Um, so sometimes you need to be very mindful of time management. You will have to have undertaken um, fundamental skills experience in the skills lab to make sure you go out there on your first placement, practicing those fundamental skills, giving holistic care. And then as you go through the program, maybe more specialist care. However, you will get support, as I say, in placement. So your placement supervisor and assessor, your personal tutor, um, the link lecture and, as I say, your student um, mentor or buddy. And there's a link there also to have a look at um, the caring practitioner uh, page, which um, we, um, ad we very much want you to have a look at that, whatever student you are in healthcare. So placements, what can we offer you? We're very fortunate to have the Children's Hospital of Wales here in Cardiff, um, but you also will have placements outside Cardiff. So in Newport um, and Abergavenny is our furthest probably, um, and that's um, Neville Hall in Abergavenny. We, there's a children's ward there and um, also a small neonatal unit. You will also have placements in the community, children's community services. We're very fortunate to have special needs schools and also health visiting. So as you go through the program into that end of second year and into third year, you'll get more specialist placements in neonatal intensive care units, pediatric intensive care units, um, children's casualty, um, high dependency units. We've got children's oncology here in, in the Children's Hospital of Wales. Um, and also I mentioned the Teenage Cancer Trust unit. You'll also maybe have, a, have um, opportunity to go to children's 
uh, mental health services and we're very fortunate that we have a children's hospice also um, that you may be placed in. You won't do all these placements but this is just what we have so you will get that variety um, of different areas and of working in you know Cardiff and outside Cardiff too. Just uh, you will see some pictures of the children's hospital um, here in Wales. So we also are very fortunate that we have um, a really dedicated children's skills lab um, here in uh, Tidawi Sant in our teaching uh, area and we use it um, very much to um, simulate a four bedded ward area or sometimes we take out one bed and put in a cot um, depending what we're teaching or what we want to simulate. We work with mannequins to produce um, prior to practice so we're very fortunate we've actually got very high tech mannequins. We've got um, Sim Baby and Sim, Sim Boy um, and also, you know, we use those mannequins so that you can um, do some skills on and these mannequins can actually talk to you. They can actually, we can actually program them to have an arrest um, or if they, to make them vomit or whatever we want on that day. Um, and you'll also, of course, have to undertake your manual handling and um, also your basic life support skills that you have. Um, you have to update yearly and your paediatric basic life support. So by the end of the programme, what do we want to produce? We want to produce students that are empathetic um, and that you're ready to register. So when you're registered as a children's nurse, you are empathetic, you've shown honesty, you're trustworthy, you have you give compassionate care. You're able to communicate effectively with parents, with children, with young people, and also with the teams. Children love, um, even though when they're feeling poorly, they like to see a nurse coming in with a smile, with a sense of fun. And at times we may, may need to advocate for children um, in child protection cases. Other times you need to be supportive, supportive of families, supportive of children. But you need to be complete the programme and be competent, be knowledgeable practitioners, practising using evidence-based practice. Um, so you go out of that workforce and have the knowledge and skills needed. So I've just put up the vision of Cardiff University Children and Young People's Nurse is to be a compassionate individual who demonstrates empathy, a knowledgeable, critical thinker, able to evaluate and apply the evidence base to their delivery of health care. They're competent health promoters with effective problem solving and decision making skills, a role model able to lead others. Through effective communication, you can work in partnership with families, children and young people and other professionals in a range of care settings. We were very fortunate to receive this father's blog. Um, this father had been in the children's hospital for quite a period of time with his child. And he wrote that in the six months we have been at the hospital, we have been looked after by a number of students at various stages of their courses. I can honestly say that the quality, the empathy, professionalism and enthusiasm shown by them all is amazing. It really takes a special person to become a nurse and to look after sick and seriously ill children is even more challenging. So if you can be that person, if you think you can, please apply for children's nursing here in Cardiff University.